Coach Bennett. Uh, Coach, hey, before this game started, you and I were talking, and, and you mentioned this idea of how can we resp- respond to adversity and the trials that face us. And after what was a tough day, uh, really for a variety of reasons, and a tough first half, uh, what did you think of the way your guys handled themselves in spite of the adversity? Yeah, I thought, um, you know, for sure, and there's certainly things bigger than, than the game. And we had a lot of things we had to deal with, with, uh, you know, real uh, uh, myself and Ronnie Weidman and Johnny Carpenter as, as the coaches. You know, Ronnie's our operations guy, and Johnny's been our video coordinator. And they did a great job in practice all week. Um, even Bach, our esteemed sports information director, was was helping us out a little in practice. Um, but um, so it was, it was an interesting time, but we just talked about banding together without – Austin Castro, without Cody, without Casey, uh, we knew we were going to have to come together. And, um, and you know, um, I thought we had a spirited week of practice. You know, obviously events that happened today, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. But we just talked about let's try to take a step in the right direction. The game started, I thought, offensively, Dave. We were pretty good in the first half. Um, we got the shots we needed. But um, defensively, we had a lot of trouble. Again, they were hitting shots. Um, we had some breakdowns. And then in the second half, I thought we adjusted well. I thought the ball pressure picked up. Kihei decided to really um, pick up the ball. And everybody just, um, with some adjustments, I think that helped really just um, stepped up. Reese gave us a really good lift. Uh, I think you saw some of, uh, some of his potential. And um, obviously, we didn't have a lot of numbers. We shortened the rotation, but played tough enough in the second half. So we responded well to uh, adversity and, and being shorthanded. And, uh, you know, a very good second half from my standpoint. Yeah, and Coach Bacher didn't even get a technical foul call. How about that? The bench over there. That was impressive. <laughs> uh, but, but let me ask you this, though. Uh, from your perspective where you sat, what was the hardest part of, of doing this without assistant coaches now that you've done it once? Because we're going to see it again on Saturday. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I asked Ronnie, I, I said, I asked him something. He goes, the last two hours were a blur. I don't know. <laughs> you got to laugh because, you know, there's matchups. There's things you're asking, you're seeing, you got to think. And, you know, I've got some experience, and I just tried to keep, you know, ask them some questions and, and talk to the guys. Chase Coleman, I could hear his voice. He wants to be a coach. He was excellent talking to the guys. He really has good insight in the game. I, I always rely on the players, and I was asking them stuff in the timeouts, but I could hear Chase and some of the other guys um, saying some things. And I thought all of that was important. So, you know, we came together and, um, you know, again, I made the most of the situation and um, we'll, we'll hopefully, um, you know, get guys back soon and, and go in the next direction. All right, thanks, Coach. I'll okay, hand Dave. the baton off. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up. We'll start with Jeff White, then Bennett Conlon, and Doug Dowdy. Tony, Reese Beekman looked a little bit more assertive offensively than he'd been in his first few games. Was that something you would encourage him to do, or was that just the way the game came to him tonight? Yeah, um, no, I've been encouraging him, you know, the last probably month and a half. We need you to be aggressive. And I, I said, sometimes when you play with Kihei, I think you say, well, I'm with Kihei. I'm just supposed to sort of, you know, occasionally do stuff. I said, we can't afford that. I said, we're shorthanded. I said, you have to, and I've been saying it again um, all the last month, you got to be assertive. And I told them, you can play poorly, that can happen, but you can never um, play apprehensive. And I think he's he's quiet by nature, but he does stuff, you know, you watch him subtly. And then I thought he was aggressive with the drive to create. You know, obviously he had the nice dunk, a couple big steals. He He's uncanny how many times he'll tip balls and, and do things. So I really, that was a real um, bright spot to see his assertiveness, as you said, Jeff. So I think that's important for us moving forward. And again, um, you know, he um, he did some real nice stuff. Coach, what were some of the adjustments? Five there, steals, guess, too. Sorry. Maybe the sorry the second half uh, message, I guess, that sort of led to those adjustments and improved play. Yeah, I think um, you know it was all Ronnie and Johnny. You know, they said, "Hey, look, we gotta we gotta get you out of the way, Coach Bennett. We gotta help you out here. You're struggling in the first half. We need to give you the adjustments." So um, they did it. No, we just talked. We we're having trouble with the ball screen because um, you know. Um, I don't want to pronounce his name wrong. Um, number 25, uh, Masood, 
the, the way he um, the way he was screening and separating it's tough we've had trouble with that so we just tried to do a few different things tried switching some screens tried going under and just work but they had us behind the play early so again the adjustments we just kind of go through you know like all right we've gone against a shooting big man what can we do um, and we got to kind of pick our poison so we decided to stay a little more at home on him and I thought it was it helped us. Uh, and again, the ball pressure, the ability to like, let's pick up point. Everybody be more active on the ball. Kihei go down the floor, uh, and those things kind of mixed together. And you know, Sam was on the glass, which was good. So um, again, I thought it was uh, was um, the guys responded well to that that challenge. Yeah, it's Doug Dowdy. Hey, Doug. Just wanted to ask you, you mentioned Sam's rebounding, 10 defensive rebounds. Can you talk about what he's shown you as a rebounder so far? Yeah, he um, he's he's a good defensive rebounder. He he knows how to pursue the ball, and, you know, he's he's sturdy, and he just he, he finds it, and he goes after it. I mean, rebounding's about heart, and it's about finding it, pursuing it, going and grabbing it, and um, making it yours, and Sam does that. And I think we need that. Uh, from more guys, but Sam really, you know, he's he's done that. I, he's probably our leading rebounder this year, I would assume. And so um, I, I like that. Um, you know, again, he's not the most athletic, but he knows how to time it, and he he's not denied, and uh, he's not afraid to go in traffic and, and snatch it. All right, next we'll have Preston Willett, Mike Barber, and Jerry Ratcliffe. Yeah, Coach, sticking on Sam, it really seemed like he was finding his spots offensively in the second half, and y'all were attacking some of those mismatches. I think he got lined up on their point guard a couple of times. Uh, what did you see out of him in the second half offensively? Well, yeah, I mean, I thought he, he just, he's, he's heady, he's smart. Um, he got to spots. Yeah, they switched. He went to kind of off the lane, and he was really good in the mid post and, and on the blocks. Um, and he got some really good looks. You know, he was one for six, but they were all good shots. You want him shooting the three. He can really shoot it. And uh, But I thought he was, was real, real good. Um, we got him the ball, and the, again, kind of off the lane doing things. Even Kihei was too. So just letting you know him use his feel and, and versatility. And I, I told him I want him to be assertive. And, uh, he's he's always looking to make the right play, whether it's aggressive to score or finding the next pass. And uh, he's been well schooled from little on up. I'm going to stick with the theme, coach, and ask you another about Hauser. But uh, defensively, where is he in, in his development, and, and how pleased or how much more work does he need to do there? Well, he's he was better today. Um, he was, and you know he's had some tough matchups, whether it's Kispert against Gonzaga or Lasheski at times, and you know. We have to keep figuring out things, so we're continuing to adjust to see how it suits our personnel, how we guard some of these guys. Um, but I think he's, we, we worked hard. We had, you know, three practices and we worked hard and it didn't show in the first half, but then it did on our sliding, our on-ball sliding. We're not the most athletic in certain spots. So I thought for the most part, he kept the ball in front, which I liked. And I think he's coming and he, he, he's smart and he understands, but now it's the anticipation of guys that are newer and even though he's an experienced player. But, um, you know, again, I thought he had a good all-around game without a doubt. Uh, Tony, uh, can you talk about Kie? Uh, he's had a pretty nice three-game stretch. Just uh, is he doing everything for you that you had hoped for at this point in the season? Well, yeah, I think he, you know, he's, he's yeah, he's doing a good job, especially in the second half defensively. Um, and you know he's he's gonna battle. He's been through it, and I think he knows what this team needs. Um, and I think he's got to keep pushing himself to be, um, you know, a, a vocal leader, uh, a, a demander, um, and not be afraid to offend guys, and then encourage them, and just push, 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 and get out of that comfort zone. And I think he's becoming more like that. And then on the court, he's just got to be tough and sound, and and do. Be assertive, but not step over that line. And I think he last year was such a valuable experience for him because he was forced. He had so much on his plate, and it was good for him. He, he had success, and he struggled at times. And I think he's got a, a better feel. And it's nice at times when Reese can play, and they can, you know, you have another ball handler out there that can make some decisions. It's not just Kihei. So, yeah, he's he's had a good stretch. You're right, and uh, we're going to continue to need that from him. And you know, again, he didn't give him much of a rest tonight, but. Uh, again, we needed that because of being shorthanded without Casey and, and without Thank Cody. You. We'll 
we'll take our last question for Coach from Caroline Darney. Coach, I don't want to bump Johnny up too much, but what was it like having him on the sideline, that opportunity for him? And, and what did you think of this? What was he excited about the yeah. opportunity? What, what did you think of this person? He, he did a good, a really good job. You know, it's funny when right when we walked off the court, Ronnie and Johnny, I, like the players are walking to our towards our practice gym, and and Ronnie and Johnny saw each other, and they ran at each other and they jumped in the air and did like a chest bump. And they're like, "Let's go!" They were so excited that they, I think they were like, "We can't, we can't lose if we're the two assistants." Johnny is a student of the game, loves the game, one of the hardest workers I've had. Studies film. He's gone overseas, coach teams in different countries he's just constantly started as a manager loves the game and you know it was, it was a great experience for him to lead the the scout team in practice um, do a scouting report before the team and um, you know asking him questions in the game and just uh, really good so I, I couldn't as an old guy that's what I feel like like these young guys I'm like man I'm so proud of them that they got that experience and there was legitimate joy um, in their in their deal. I think they go and they need to go have a beer and relax tonight. They're a little amped up, so hopefully they'll calm down and we'll be ready to go tomorrow. That's what they don't understand. We gotta practice tomorrow and be ready, so we'll uh, we'll get them right. Okay, thank you, Coach. Welcome.